This is the Contextures Excel Roundup for August 17th, 2015. This week, we're going to take a look at a time entry worksheet where you can control what's being entered, some chart tricks, a Power BI desktop update, and a few other items. First up, on the Excel Roundup this week, I've got a pivot table survey. It just has three questions, so if you have a minute and could fill that in, that would be great. And I'll be sharing the survey results in the next Roundup. On my blog this week, I showed a technique you can use to prevent people from entering invalid hours and minutes in a timesheet. We're keeping track of production time and defect time. The defect time can't be greater than the production time. So there are drop downs that check the other entries and create a dynamic list. And you can only choose from those items. Now, of course, data validation isn't foolproof, so people could override this, but it's going to help people enter data correctly, and make it a bit easier for them. Also in the roundup this week, We've got a look at some new Power BI desktop features, and there's a good summary from one of the SQL Server MVPs. He's created a list of the things that are new. You can see it's an all-in-one list, very long, detailed, lots of screenshots to help you see all the new features. And he also links to a video that you can watch from the Power BI team that outlines some of those features. Also, if you haven't started with Power BI Desktop yet, Rob Cauley has a great article that shows how you can move from Excel Power Pivot or Query to the Power BI Desktop and have a smooth trip on your way. So take a look at that article. It's got lots of great tips. There are a couple of chart tricks this week, too. The first one is from John Peltier. And on his site, he shows how you can take some numbers and plot them along a chart just in a single row, almost as if those are numbers on a thermometer. And he takes you through all the steps from the very beginning through to creating nice labels for all of those points. Another chart trick is on the Evergreen Data blog. And on there you can see how to build a slope graph, which is a variation on a line chart. And it shows how something changes over time. And again, it takes you through all the steps how to set it up, what changes to make to the chart so it looks like a slope graph. And also this week, Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, has come out with a new book. It's going to be released on September 1st. I got an advanced copy. He's got some content of mine in there, and you can order that on Amazon. There's a link on the Roundup. It's a beautiful book. It's full color. 40 of the greatest Excel tips of all time and lots of other content. And if you'd like to hear Bill talking about the book and many other things, you can follow the link to John Mikaloudis's latest podcast. And they sit down, it's over an hour, but very entertaining and informative. There are a few other links on the blog. So go to the Excel Roundup page, fill in the pivot table survey, and follow the links to see the other items in this week's Excel Roundup. This has been the Excel Roundup for August 17th, 2015. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.